Good morning on this life's too grand day. The day that the Lord has made, so we might as well rejoice and be glad in. In spite of all that the enemy tries to do, be, be us being tossed to and fro, life is just still too grand. Walking into 145 days of labor God's word and prayer, he still sits on the throne. In the throne room, heaven is his throne room, the earth is his footstool, and all is under his feet in the name of Jesus. And he has the power to forgive. And that's what he's done. He's sent his only begotten son into the world so that whoever believes in him um, may have life and walk in his forgiveness in the name of Jesus. God, help me in this place. Let's bombard heaven because there is a word from the Lord. Abba, I thank you for such a time as this. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you, God, that you have created in us a clean heart of God and removed in us a right spirit, Abba. I thank you, Father God, for what it is that you're doing inside this land and to call Georgia in the name of Jesus, God, as you begin to deal with each and every one of us, Father God, that we begin to lean not into our own understanding, Father God, and you continue to direct our path, God, for you make crooked paths straight, Father God. Now, as this word go forth, Father God, I pray that highly decrease and the spirit of living Lord increase. Yes. Learn to speak the word in season and out of season. I'm here today in my lovely town. Uh, out the streets of gold is out in the highways and byways of my lovely hometown to Court, Georgia, with the word from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Um, and it dropped in my spirit yesterday, power in the name of Jesus. And as I was riding up the up and down the highways and the byways in the name of Jesus, and communing with the spirit of greed in the name of Jesus spirit of obesity in the name of Jesus. And early this morning I rose and I just didn't sing right. I said, whoa, wait a minute, Jesus. What is this? What is going on? I was greeted with a, a dumb spirit and a loose spirit and a spirit of slothfulness in the name of Jesus. And God began to talk to me about the seven, seven deadly sins in the name of Jesus. God, he helped me to make it plain. As he began to talk to me about the spirit of greed, he said, the less that you have in the name of Jesus. The more that you have a desire to get in the name of Jesus, the more you desire to have materialistic wealth in the name of Jesus. And the less you have and the more you desire to get materialistic wealth in the name of Jesus, the more you desire power in this place in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. And God began to talk to me out of um, in the name of Jesus. Ecclesiastes in the name of Jesus. First of all, he spoke to me about forgiveness and redemption in the name of Jesus. Um, in Ephesians 1, 1 and 4, 1, wait a minute, no, 1, 1 and 7. In him we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. And he made a bound towards us in all wisdom in the name of Jesus. Uh, even God, God says, even when you mess up in the name. Jesus. I'm still in it. I'm still in the midst, in the name of Jesus. And all that you need and all that I desire for you to have is in me, in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Under the in. Move out the way. Every fire spirit that is not like you in the name of Jesus. And then God begins to talk to me about prayer and spiritual wisdom in the name of Jesus. Under the in. Thank you, Jesus. The forgiveness of sin and grief and power in the name of Jesus. Uh, in me, God, Christ Jesus was saying you have power in the name of Jesus. But God says if you trust in the kings in this land, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Ecclesiastes, it says in the name of Jesus, there is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit, neither have the power in the day of death and there is no discharge of that war neither shall wickedness deliver that which that are given in the name of jesus because you serve the kings of this land he says your power is limited in the name of jesus uh, you own a temporary fixed income of power in the name of jesus uh, the freaks come out at night in the name of jesus because you're doing a little strange, little strange things for a piece of change. So while you're in the arms of a married man, you have power in the name of Jesus. Uh, but when that power and that time runs out in the name of Jesus, uh, you no longer have power. And you're wondering why you're calling on the kings of the land. Uh, and the kings of the land, uh, they only can, can give you so much a temporary fix of power in the name of Jesus. But God begins to speak to me. And he says, in me, 
I glorify God in the name of Jesus. Huh? He says in Ecclesiastes 2 and 9, 19, it says, What is exceedingly great is his power towards us who believe according to the works of the Almighty. You know, he says, Connect with the power source. Huh? And you don't have to worry about huh? being in the midnight hour, huh? laid up in the words of man, huh? doing a little something strange or a piece of change, and to have temporary power. Huh? Where you're tripping up your sisters and brothers in Christ, uh, a spirit of greed in the name of Jesus, uh, digging ditches in the name of Jesus, because uh, you'll know my my spirit uh, by the uh, works of your fruit in the name of Jesus, by the works of your deed uh, and the fruits of your spirit, uh, because I will lift you up, uh, I will sit you on the right hand of me in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. It's a spirit of nervousness, a spirit of desire to be seen in this land right now. In the Name of Jesus, now find her a spirit of pride right now in the name of Jesus. Let the flesh decrease in this land, God. Let it be the spirit of living Lord, but let him flow through here like a mighty rushing wind, God. Every lion source, every witchcraft and social worker in this land. I find the spirit of territory in this land. Jezebel, God, loose Jehu. To fight against Jezebel in this land, hunt the little sheep kitty, the great Babylon whore, hunt the little sheep kitty, hunt the little sheep kitty. God said you humbled yourself, hunt the little sheep kitty. You went to, and I said go in the name of Jesus. No one in this land huh, can put you under their feet, huh, because I got the power. All power is under my Lord and Savior Jesus' feet. Huh, no, she kidding. Huh, yes, God, in that we lack understanding, God. Huh, we lack connection in the spirit in this land, God. Huh, let us connect to the ultimate power source in this land, God. Huh, no, no, she kidding. Mm, in the name of Jesus, huh, I glorify your name, God. Mm, God, suck you into this land to uproot that which with her is not like him in the name of Jesus as long as you walk in the spirit of truth in the name of Jesus God's power will move on your behalf in the name of Jesus and the gates of hell shall not prevail Satan says I'm, I'm, I'm pulling the source I'm pulling the plug thank you God for losing that word in the name of Jesus because uh, the freaks come out at night, huh? you have temporary power. Huh? The worshippers of Satan in this place in the name of Jesus. Huh? God says you touch not my anointing, huh? and you do my problem no harm. Huh? And because you put your hands on the life huh? of God's children, huh? Satan has pulled the plug. Huh? Let a little sheep kid in here. God has the power huh? to speak into the gates of hell huh? and to tell Satan huh? those who fight against you. Huh? Lord, now in the name of Jesus, I command you to fight against we loose the things of God. We loose, take your hands off of God's children. Like you told Moses to go into Pharaoh and to tell Pharaoh to let my people go, that they may go out into the wilderness and worship me. I called you because the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. I called you to go out into the highways and the pathways in the name of Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, God says, um, tell them you're about to be preaching I, in the dark in the name of Jesus. Your source of power has just been pulled. Your source of power has just been cut off. Your power of serving the kings in this land, it has just been cut off in the name of Jesus. The creation does not have power over the creator. In the name of Jesus, who do you serve? Choose this day whom you will serve. You serve the Creator who has all power. Because He said on the third day, He got up out the grave with all power in His hands. I don't care who you serve. I don't care what man you call. I don't care who you're connected to. I serve a God who sits high and He looks low and He got all power under His feet. God says that whatever you say in my name, 
Lord. You got power to speak life with them. You got power to call those things that are not as though that they are. You got power to speak that which is in the spiritual realm and to bring it into the earth realm. In the name of Jesus, most high saint of God, I'm going to fast in God's presence where I know there's power. Who will you serve? Will you serve the kings of this land or will you serve El Shaddai?